additive property of equality with decimals, we're asked to solve for x, and x is on the left-hand side of our equation here, and there is also a plus 2.6 on the side with the x. So I would like to move that to the other side to get the x by itself. So what I need to do is I need to do the opposite of adding 2.6. I need to subtract 2.6. Uh, the additive property says if you're going to subtract from one side, you have to also subtract from the other side. And since I've got decimals, I'm going to go ahead and line up the decimals. Because on the left-hand side, 2.6 minus 2.6, those two cancel, leaving me with just our x. And on the right-hand side, since I've lined up the decimals, I'm subtracting. I've got a positive minus a 2.6 so I'm supposed to subtract and keep the sign of the larger since I've lined up the decimals I can see that when I subtract I get a 5 in this decimal spot but I'm gonna have to borrow here let's see if I borrow and bring that one over 11 minus 6 gives me another 5 and then the 8 minus the 2 gives me 6 and I said we have to keep the sign of the larger so it's a positive 6.55 uh, just to make sure we're gonna take that answer and substitute it back in and see what happens if I replace the X with 6.55 that would mean that when I add the 2.6 I'm supposed to get 9.15 and let's see on the left hand side if we line these up 6.55 2.6 and we add bring the 5 down the 5 plus the 6 gives me 11 carry the 1 my decimal goes in the same place and I have 9 so yes the left is 9.15 the right is 9.15 checking our answer it worked 6.55 is the solution for X